dull spoon. It's funny you should ask, son. Tana Mojo just won Creator of the Year, and I've lost all faith in humanity, so I'm gonna dig my eyeballs out with this dull spoon. What's up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. So if you're into improving your mental health, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And for those of you who didn't know, tomorrow, tomorrow, Sunday, December 15th, at 3 p.m. Pacific time, we are giving away a Shane Dawson conspiracy palette. And those things have been sold out forever, so we're doing the giveaway, but, during the live stream, we will also be raising money for Faces and Voices of Recovery, which is an amazing nonprofit organization that it helps decrease the stigma of addiction, raise awareness, they fight to change laws, they also help people who are struggling with addiction. It's a topic that's very close to my heart. I've been clean and sober for seven years. So join us for the live stream tomorrow and maybe you'll win yourself a palette and spread the word. Oh, you'll get an extra entry in the giveaway if you retweet my tweet of this video. All right? Ah, yes. The streamies, the beautiful streamies have happened. And creator of the year, creator of the year, Tana Mojo. And like I said, I have just officially lost faith in humanity. This, this whole situation shows everything wrong with YouTube, with culture, but mainly with people like you and me. All right, so the Streamy Awards, those of you who don't know, they give out awards for, you know, people on YouTube and things like that. There were some other creators who won in different categories and everything. And Creator of the Year, the top spot given to Tana Mojo. And I'm just like, oh my God. We are idiots. We are all idiots. And where we place our values is completely ridiculous. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer. Like, let's go through Tana Mojo's 2019 highlights to see how she earned creator of the year all right like some of her top videos were a mukbang talking about pointless subjects with shane dawson and morgan and ryland all right she faked a marriage with Jake Paul. She made a video about Lil Xan cheating on her. She recently did a lingerie haul while talking about how she wouldn't take a sponsorship from some slime corporation. All right, now, now, that she gets views and she like entertains people, good for you, girl, all right? But like, look at the things that we value. Look at the things that we value as a culture that would give Tana Mojo creator of the year, all right? Just to let you know, some of the other biggest videos of 2019, some of the other biggest videos, all right, and topics of 2019 was Tati Westbrook stirring up all of this nonsense because her friend James Charles promoted a competitor's gummy vitamins, all right? Another one of the biggest topics of 2019 was Trisha Paytas, the woman who gets paid to show her hoo-ha and chi-chis all over, came out as a transgender man, but not any type of transgender man. She is a transgender man who is not going to transition because she's a gay man in a woman's body. These are the types of things that get the most attention from all of us. All right, now, typically when people make videos like this, like when you see everybody whining and complaining about the YouTube Rewind, what they're really saying is, my favorite creator didn't get on there, that's why this is a problem, which I think is ridiculous because we all have different favorites for different reasons. But when I look at creator of the year, like YouTube, which is also full of crap, YouTube says, we, we want to promote people that are educating people and teaching people and everything like that. And that is so, so not true. All right, how many times on trending have you seen an educational topic? No, it's like music videos or Jeffree Star. Uh, sometimes it's Mr. Beast, but let's talk about just some of the other things that have happened in 2019 that might've deserved creator of the year, all right? There are amazing, amazing 
like filmmakers on this platform. One of the most underrated is my boy Cody Warner. That dude is phenomenal. The fact that he only has 50,000 blows my mind. Go check his channel out. And in his, in his group, there are so many other creators that just make these fascinating videos. There's uh, another filmmaker named Matt Diavella, right? Not only is he just like, this artist when it comes to filmmaking, but he talks about like things that I love, like mental health. He talks about anxiety. He talks about minimalism. He talks about uh, meditation and all that. Then you have filmmakers like Peter McKinnon. That dude is phenomenal. All right, they are doing things, like they are making these high production videos for YouTube. And again, and again, no hate to Tana, but like, I like, here's the thing. I hope to God, I am going to give Tana Mojo the benefit of the doubt. And I hope she looks at that award and was like, compared to other creators on this platform, I don't deserve this. I just hope that she understands that. Like, here's the other thing, like with other creators out there, like no matter what your feelings are about Shane Dawson's docu-series, when he creates something like the last couple of years, ever since he did like Inside the Mind of Jake Paul, like he has created an entirely new genre here on YouTube, all right? I think he won, did he win Creator of the Year last year? I'm not sure, let me know down in the comments below. But like, regardless of whether you liked that series or hated that series, you have to respect the fact that he's doing something different. Then you have people like Mr. Beast. I'll be completely honest with you. I do not watch any Mr. Beast videos. And that's just me, that's just personal preference. Like I, I personally, I don't see the draw in like Mr. Beast just giving a bunch of people money and things and whatever, like that's cool. Like looking at the, the pure numbers though, this dude is consistently hitting millions upon millions upon millions of views. Like Tana gets some decent views, but Mr. Beast's consistency with the amount of views he gets are mind blowing. But aside from that, Mr. Beast has used his explosion on this platform to do his Team Trees project, where their goal is to plant 20 million trees. But creator of the year, the award, went to a girl who faked a marriage with Jake Paul and grew her platform from fake exaggerated story times. Like, here's, here's the most heartbreaking part of it, all right? The streamies are fan voted. Let me repeat that for the people in the back. The streamies are fan voted. So it's not the streamies fault, all right? The fans, voted for Tana Mojo. Like think about what that says about us as human beings. That Tana Mojo got the most votes, all right? Sit back and let that sink in a little bit, all right? Tana's not the problem, YouTube is part of the problem, all right? But the streamies aren't the problem. People voted for it. But if you look across YouTube, that's the biggest issue. It's like look, look at who you're subscribed to. Right? Like if you had to break down in categories, like what percentage of educational channels are you subscribed to? What percentage of channels are you subscribed to that are dedicated to self-improvement movement and making your life better, right? Like what percentage, right? Then what percentage are dedicated to complete bullshit that is probably making you lose brain cells, okay? So the reason why I said that YouTube is only part of the problem is because YouTube promotes that content, all right? Some of the most successful videos on the YouTube platform are, are commentary and drama. They're entertaining, I've talked about the psychology behind it, but you guys, the only reason, the only reason that I make content the way I do is because I learned a long time ago that we're the problem. Nobody is like, oh, hey, I'm gonna look up mental health and how to work on myself. No, you gotta slap in somebody, somebody popular's name in there just to talk about something that might give somebody just an ounce 
an ounce of clarity to help them improve their lives, all right? So let's do this, going into 2020, going into the new decade, how about we try to improve as people and not make people like Tana Mojo creator of the year? And I know this sounds like I'm just coming down harsh on people like Tana Mojo and Trisha Paytas and everything like that. Like everybody needs that mindless stuff to zone out to and have some escapism, but that is not creator of the year material. Like when you look at the major award shows, like, yo, I love, I love me some superhero movies. I love them so much, but there's a reason, there's a reason why they don't win film of the year, all right? Because that's not what they're there for. So hopefully, if we hope for YouTube to be taken more seriously and more mainstream, we gotta look at what we're promoting on this platform. But YouTube, like I said, YouTube could do a better job holding up to what they've told us that they're trying to push educational content that'll help people improve their lives. Because if that was the case, I'll make a thousand videos on how to stay sober, how to overcome your depression, how to overcome your anxiety, how to overcome trauma, everything, or at least for the love of God, promote the creators who are trying to make this world a better place. You know what I mean? But it comes down to us as the viewers and who we're giving our attention to. Our time is the most precious, valuable resource on earth, and we keep wasting it by binge watching a bunch of nonsense that doesn't make us better at all, all right? But anyways, retweet this video if you like an extra entry into the Shane Dawson Palette giveaway, and don't forget to join us tomorrow at 3 p.m. Pacific time for the live stream where we announce the winner and we are raising money for faces and voices of recovery, all right? But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel over on Patreon. You're awesome, we just had a few new people sign up. Everybody who supports the channel by buying my mental health books at therewiredsoul.com or, or the merch, all that. All of you help me do what I love, which is helping others with their mental health while everybody else likes watching mindless nonsense. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.